fifth harmonic test. The fifth harmonic test can be verified in two ways, operate to non-operate or non-operate to operate. The R phase and the Y phase CT from the test kit is connected in parallel to the R phase HV side in the relay, external superimposing method. Let us test using the operate to non-operate method. In this method, we will inject 0 0.875 angle 0 at 50 Hz in CT1 and 0 angle 0 at 250 Hz in CT2 of the test kit. When the above value is injected, the relay will trip in differential. Now, let us increase the CT2 current gradually and verify the dropout. I have selected CT2 and I am increasing the current. So, we can see that the relay has dropped out at 0.224 amps. Note down the CT1 and CT2 value. The CT2 value is 0.224 amps and CT1 value is 0.875 amps. The ratio of CT2 divided by CT1 will provide us the slope. So here, 0.224 divided by 0.875 equals 25.6%, which confirms the setting of 25%. This test confirms that the relay is operating when the fifth harmonic content is less than 25% and blocking when the fifth harmonic content is more than 25%. Let me switch off the kit. Reset the relay. Now let us verify the non-operate to operate method. In this method, we will inject 0.875 angle 0 at 50 Hz in CT1 and 0.875 angle 0 at 250 Hz in CT2. The relay should pick up in differential, however, the tripping should not be executed. Now let us decrease the magnitude in the LV and monitor the tripping of the relay. So the current is injected. The relay has not tripped. I am selecting the fifth harmonic and gradually reducing it. So the dropout value is CT2 0.216 amps. Now let us take a ratio. CT2 divided by CT1, that is 0.216 divided by 0.875, equals 24.68%. This confirms the fifth harmonic test in line with the settings.